Wait. Na, 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 Hold on. Na, na, wait. Na, no, na, na, no, na, na, that's not working. Na, oh, wait. Yes, it did. Na, na, oh, na, na, no, no, no. <laughs> Is this how they do it? <laughs> Is this how they do it? <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to a Minecraft video. Today, I will be showing you how to make a simple command block dialogue with a villager without using any redstone, any NBT tags on the Xbox, in Bedrock Edition, no mods, just very simple, very basic text dialogue with a villager to make it classic old school style RPG, which is fitting the aesthetic of my world that I am building. So here we have Jaff, which is an armor who you can trade with. And here's his little shop stand. But here we have a blue button so we can talk to him. So let's talk to Jaff and I will, I will voice him. Hey, you're just in time. For closing, I mean. Yep, sold out on everything today. It was a good day for old Jaff. <laughs> you're more than welcome to stay and help. <laughs> oh, wow, Jaffy boy, that was a good one. <laughs> stay and help. <laughs> as you can see, that was just a line of dialogue that you could have as an interaction with him passing by, and then the button reappears. So let's press it again. No, really, buddy. I'm out of my entire stock. You're going to have to come by early tomorrow if you want a chance. So you can see it's a different dialogue than before, and it continues. <laughs> Otherwise, you can stay in help. <laughs> oh, oh my, I'm crying. Did you want to help out? If not, get out. And the button reappears. And it's just a simple button and redstone block system. All you do is press the button. It travels to this command block, which is red one, and it sets another block to which then powers a command block chain. So this red one will then switch here momentarily to red two, and then you can press the button and then it plays the dialogue for red two because it is setting a different redstone block than the first one. So the first button press with red one will send the signal because the first one sets a redstone block here the second one sets a redstone block here this red one just sets this block to air and then this red two sets this block to air so it just makes it so that these can receive a signal over and over again after uh, the button is pressed this block and this block here are the exact same because they bear and then these four are all Jaff dialogue. These two go through the first chain. These two go through the second chain. And the first one plays immediately, but then I have the second one on a 200 delay in ticks. So that way it doesn't play immediately after the first one and you get a second to read it. This block and this block are slightly different than each other. This one is a clone command and this clones this block at the end of this chain to this block here because this is red one you press the button it sends the signal over to red one here it plays down this chain it clones red two into the position of red one and then the second chain will then be able to play where then it will clone red one into the position of red two and then the cycle continues this block and this block are once again the same clone command and it just undoes the setting of the button to air it clones this button here over to this button so that way you can just repeatedly press the button over and over again and that can be used in two easy ways you can either have a repetitive dialogue like that or i have this one set up here where i skip over the first dialogue and just have the second one run through a bit quicker with some additions at the end so it will quickly play through his second dialogue of him asking at the end saying did you want to help if not get out and here i have some questions cloned so that way the player character can respond to villagers so i can either say i will lend a hand i can spare a few minutes to help you close or yeah right i'm not sticking around to help you close bye so if i press the button for this one Questions go away, and Jaff says, Yeah, I didn't think so. Come early if you want a chance to get the good stuff. And then the button here, which originally allowed me to talk to him, reappears. So if I press it again, 
it will play his dialogue, which will then repeat the question of, did I want to help? And now I have the question options again up here. So once again, I can say no, it will go away, and the button over here will reappear after he says his dialogue. So I can continuously just tell him no and talk to him, or I can say lend a hand. So if I do that, he says, ha ha ha, wait, really? How about, uh, I'll count my profits for today, and you do everything else. Fair? Fair. Ha ha ha. And now I have quest started. And it's called Jaff's Quest. Just <laughs> easy name. <laughs> then a quest log pops up. Jaff has asked you to clean his store. You don't know if there is a reward. So the questions come from over here in this command block instead of it repeating to... Uh, clone a redstone block for this chain. It continues down this chain to clone these blocks here, and it clones the blocks underneath them, so it clones these commands, which are yes and no, respectively, to this yes and no over here. And once again, this one just sets this to air, this one sets this to air, so that way they can be repeated. I technically don't need it on this yes one because it won't need to be repeated unless you can repeatedly clean his store, but the no one will, uh, they both have this clear question uh, di uh, command here and it just resets this area to air. And I have Jaff's dialogue for you denying the quest and then it cloning the button back to reset this dialogue and then once again his acceptance uh, dialogue and then the title quest started plays and then the title Jaff's quest plays with a 100 delay after the first one so that way they don't overlap and then the quest log also has a 100 delay afterwards so that it doesn't overlap and that's just a reminder so that you know you have a quest because there isn't a technical tracker to uh, track the quest. So that's just a simple overview of it. Um, if you want to see me walk through building it, I can do that. But for now, I hope you enjoyed. It's just a simple overview on how my quests are going to be implemented. And maybe this can help you build something yourself. But I hope you have a great day and enjoy. That's how you do it. Bye. Mom's spaghetti. Mom's spaghetti. Mom's spaghetti. <laughs> All right.